Hello everybody, welcome to our next tutorial. I think it is the 14th tutorial from our series of tutorials. And I will present you how you can create a FPMO VP configuration and how you can use this powerful tool. Because, uh, from example, in this configuration we can embed this component and also other component and these components are named as UIBBs. Okay, so first we need to go to create a component configuration. For this we press on the component configuration of the FPMO VP component, we press the create button and then the browser it will open and here we need to declare our configuration for this component. Okay, we press the new button, we don't need to provide any description and now we are in our FPM configuration. From this tab navigation we can uh, add new more pages. Of course we can also add a dialog or other pages, but we have this page. And for this page here, down here, you can you have this section. You can see this section, it's here. And you can add a UIBB, a freestyle UIBB. Okay, and in this field we need to provide our component. Okay, we write our component, then automatically we need to choose the window for this component. Okay, we choose it and we can save it. And we will have here a message because our component don't it doesn't implement the interface because if you use a component in this FPM OVP configuration you need to implement a specific interface and for this let's implement our specific interface we go to our first component okay and here in our first component I have added this interface in the implement webdin pro component interface tab EFFPM UI building block. We need to have this interface and to implement all the methods if we want to have this FPM OVP component. And of course, if we implement it, we have some methods. Let's look on them. They are in the component controller. Method, okay. And these are our FPM building blocks interface. After failed event, flash needs confirmation, process before output, and process event. Okay, now let's go to our component configuration. Let's press again the save. And now we don't have that error because we implement that interface. Okay, of course we can add also new, new sections. And this section also needs a component. And you can see this section, this new section, you see the first section, we have the first UIBB and in the second section we can have also other UIBB, but we delete it, okay. And what we can do, we can add also a master page, okay, we, have, we can have, add here global buttons and these global buttons are here in the FPN configuration, for example, let's add a button uh, drop task ok and let's have a text need button or ok we can add a parameter name and value here also we can use the wire schema if we want to exchange data between two UIVPs. It's a nice me it's a nice mechanism. And we can see our button it's here because we write it here. Also here we can declare a application control class which needs to implement two specific interfaces and we can 
have a better control to our application. Here we can specify if we put this it will appear here an input field and we can navigate from our pages from the FPM configuration, we can set the message numbers and also other things. But in from the beginning this is a good example. Let's save again. And now we want to run our our con configuration. And for this we need to create a leading application. I will present you how we can create this leading application. For this we need to create a new component. Let's create here a new component. We create our leading application, press enter. OK. Web Pro component. OK, nice. OK, it has the automated generated interface. This leading application needs to implement the FPM OVP component. Let's go on the component and to declare this usage. OK, here I declare the usage of this component. Now we need to go in the view. We need to create a view container UI element. View, view container UI element, OK. Now we go to the window. OK, we save. And in the window we just need to embed our FPM OVP component, which is this one. We need to have this window. Okay, now we also need to do some code in the component controller in the VDDoInit method. Here we just need to declare that we use that component Okay, we also need the config key And we also need the interface controller for the FPM OVP component, which it is typeref 2 ewci FPM OVP com component. Then we just need to initialize our uh, OVP. We take the LR OVP usage VDTs and we take the VDCP usage OVP VDCP OVP. OK, we also now need to check if our, our LR OVP usage has an active component. OK, if it has one, we need to delete our usage. OK, we close the end if branch. And now we also need here to specify our config key. And, uh, and this has a column config ID. And here we need to specify our FPM configuration ID. And for this we just take our FPM configuration ID from here and we put it here. Because the FPM OVP configuration needs to know which FPM configuration we want to create. OK. Then we create the component, and this method has two parameters, component name, which is the FPM OVP component, and uh, another parameter is the LS config, conf the configuration ID.
Okay, let's activate everything. We have an error. We need to pass here the structure. I have made a misspelled. Okay, but to take this usage, we need here in the properties to declare that we use the component. Okay, and we specify that we use our FPM OVP. And now we just need to create a, a web dim pro application to run our FPM configuration which embeds our component. Let's see. Okay, we create the web dim pro application. Okay, I've created the web dim pro application. Now let's go to test it. And surprise, this is our FPM configuration. This is the button from the FPM. This is the name of our FPM configuration. We can change it. For example, tutorials. We save it. And we go back and we make a refresh and now we can see that the name is actualized and this is all in big lines with the FPM OVP component and also with other things if you need help I hope you enjoy it and I don't know if there are questions you can subscribe me on this email address and I will help you Bye, have a nice day.